All right, so we got the new Meridor axles in. Um, we got issue resolved with it by sourcing now another Meridor axle that they had in stock at the local place. And we got the axle hangers, but there was an issue with this now that's a bit of a hold up in that the tolerance. So we obviously designed this, but um, when it was designed, I, for some reason, engineers love to make things fit exact. And I mean like, it's the exact fit to the point where like, we got to grind it down a little bit. Like tolerances are so important when it comes to actually building things and like in the real world. What works good on a CAD model doesn't always work good in real world. Cause you weld the plate up, the heat warps a little bit, changes it. You need to leave that little bit, so. Okay, so we found out that this one actually was not the engineers. This one was the mechanics this time. Score one for the engineers. And basically, he had went and asked the mechanics, hey, should I make these tolerances really, really tight or a little bit looser? And one of the mechanics had replied, make the tolerances as tight as possible. We can just grind these out. It was one of the mechanics that's not here to grind them out, of course. But the engineer did ask, and now we learned that, hey, in the future, we will just get these things made with a little bit increased tolerance. And I think we're gonna change up the slight way that this goes on. Cause one of the problems with this is that when you put them together, because these, oh, there's a bunch of never sees on that, of course, <laughs> these pins go into each side and they go into the axle. So when we drop this on there, while the pin went into one side, the other side didn't line up. That's because when you weld things, the heat can slightly warp it. And if you have an exact tolerance, that heat will end up warping in there a little bit to where it won't fit on the other side. So what we're gonna do is we'll get these remade, probably a little bit thinner. This is probably overbuilt now that we put it on there. And what we'll do is we'll put it on each side, we'll drop the axle onto it, then we'll weld it onto the, just tack it onto the axle, get it tacked on, then we'll put the plate in, then we'll lay a bead of weld across it. So we're just gonna change it up. We're not gonna get them pre-built like this. We're just gonna weld them on when they get there. But hey, these are things we learned between the axles, making sure that we got the exact right parts, making sure we got hangers, tolerances. This is all part of prototyping. It can be very frustrating some weeks, other weeks it goes smoothly. This is where I'm looking forward to is that eventually we're gonna know exactly what parts, we're gonna know exactly how to build it. And when we get that new shop built, we're gonna be ordering a lot more parts so we can stock up that inventory.